Kirloskar Pumps wishes you to get the best results from your pumps. It is essential to maintain the pump periodically for its longevity. We start with understanding the requirements related to where and how the water has to be lifted. Total bends along with pipe size, for example half inch, three quarters inch or one inch if known, should also be told for proper head selection. The pump is primarily designed to lift water from underground tanks and wells for bungalows and apartments. If the water has to be lifted to an overhead tank, then the capacity of the tank should be informed to the dealer or retailer. Correct input makes it easy for us to recommend a pump based on your requirements. Installation and use Please refer to the operation manual before installing the pump. Your pump is provided with a broad based feet. If the surface is uneven, install it on a stable foundation. For a maximum discharge, use the specified pipe size while keeping the suction lift as minimum as possible. 7 meter is provided with the pump considering the ideal condition which varies at different places considering the mean sea level. Ensure minimum fittings in the pipeline and airtight joints. An additional foot wall with strainer like the one provided with the pump is recommended to be used for trouble-free performance. Ensure to keep the horizontal length of the suction pipe straight. Installation in a well-ventilated, enclosed environment will prolong your pump's life. Precautions Keep the strainer on the suction pipe end at least one foot away from any walls of the tank. The pump is suitable to be used with clean water. Chemically aggressive liquids might damage it. While cleaning the tank, do not siphon the residual muddy and dirty water through the pump. Use NRV at delivery line to save pump from bearing failure and water hammer. Never run the pump dry as it may damage the mechanical seal. Operation Before starting the pump for the first time, fill it with clean water. Also, check the freeness of the shaft by rotating it with a screwdriver. Your pump can be primed at the delivery branch as well. Understand the process. The pump will be ready to operate after priming. Maintenance The pump should run daily or on alternate days. If you don't plan to use the pump for an extended period, fill it with water or any other preservative. Also check the rotation of the shaft with a screwdriver. Periodically clean the strainer to avoid clogging. Finally, do not cover the pump with any non-breathable material such as plastic. Troubleshooting If the motor fails to start, check the power supply. If the pump is not primed properly, reprime the pump. The suction lift is too high. Place the pump closer to the water level. There are many bends in the suction branch. Reduce the number of bends. If the water level has gone below the suction end, submerge the suction end in water. The piping is not airtight. 
Apply proper sealing to all joints. If the motor starts with a humming noise, fails to rotate and trips, the pump might be jammed. Switch off the power supply and rotate the shaft with the help of a screwdriver. The pump set trips after discharged for a while. Check the supply voltage as it might be abnormal. The pump operates within the voltage range of 180 to 220 volts. 